Well, hello there, and welcome to the first of this series of interviews that I'm doing with piano teachers from all around the world, hopefully. And as you know, I'm in Finland, so I thought it makes a lot of sense to start with a Finnish piano teacher. So, here's your question. What's your name and where are you based? Hello, everyone. I'm Jyrki Tenni. I am originally from Helsinki, Finland. So I actually live here and I'm a local people. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> so you can ask yeah. me local questions. <laughs> yes. So tell me a bit about um, where you teach and who you teach. So what locations do you teach in and what kind of students? Yes. Uh, I have been teaching uh, piano in music schools, music, different music institutes, like uh, um, this um, local uh, communal music institutes, music school in Western Helsinki, uh, then in the polytechnics, then in the academy, and now I'm running a, a piano studio of my own. Very and, good. Uh, and, and we teach uh, adult amateurs or adult um, players, piano players who want to play more, who want to play more freely, or who want to play improvisations or jazz or pop and rock or classical. Okay. Yeah. So in we, a group. In, uh, in a group, mostly in a group, and sometimes they want to take one-to-one -one lessons if they have very special needs or very special area of interest, or if they have more money. Okay. And there is a demand for this. Uh, yes, both. There's both a demand for both. Okay. Yes, absolutely. So, what is the one thing in your teaching, one element of your teaching, you're most proud of? Hmm. There are so many things uh, I would like to say. Maybe a couple, if I can say two. Uh, one is that um, I like to teach the groups because uh, in group, a piano player can um, achieve many things at the same time, like uh, watching, listening, uh, learning, playing, to playing together, playing alone, and seeing when the others are learning. So then they will learn by from that already. And uh, so that takes quite a lot load away from me. Mm. I don't have to do all the teaching when they are teaching themselves. Yeah. So, uh, so it's really a um, delicate thing for a teacher to how to make the group uh, work. And I think that's one thing I'm quite good. And maybe the other thing is this uh, book of series, this uh, keyboard accompaniment and improvisation, which is uh, not only in Finnish, but in German, English, Chinese and French. And we are looking for more editions to come. And where we try to um, put together our best uh, knowledge with my German counterpart, Professor Aberlein from Frankfurt. What are the essential skills for, um, for practical piano playing? Mm -hmm. Like uh, being able to improvise, how to practice improvisations, uh, how to create accompaniments by ear or from chord symbols, and how to understand the music how the music is made and how to rearrange maybe it mm -hmm. or just reproduce what you like. Mm -hmm. So that's something I can uh, help people when they need. Absolutely, helping them to become a social pianist. Yes, yeah? yes, yes, I yes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. thank you. Um, so what is one element of your teaching you're still working on or would like to develop or change? Um, I always try to carefully listen and, and, and see how the teaching is working in a group and uh, if there's something which is not wrong so I try to correct that immediately or change next week or mm -hmm. next time. Like uh, when I was writing this book I started my courses with chords and theory because it's so interesting and it was so amazed after three weeks the students were not any more interested. <laughs> so. I decided, okay, I need to change my teaching, and that's why I always now start playing improvisations, by, uh, play by ear, so we don't have to read in the beginning. Then when you have the music in, then you can start reading. Okay. So I think I'm, I try to constantly change my teaching, so... To adapt. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah to adapt yeah. Yeah. to the situation. The situation. Yes, yeah. absolutely. So, final question. Yeah? What, what is the system of training or entering the profession? here in Finland for and what teachers. is your, yeah, for piano mm, teachers yeah. and your own experience. Yeah. Uh, of course there is uh, this classical way to play the piano and uh, study the classical piano pedagogy, 
which is very good. I take all took all the courses. I'm I'm really glad because now I know the correct technique and mm. that, so it's important. So can I just clarify that you go to university college to study piano pedagogy? Yes, yes, specifically. Yeah, yeah, yes. And um, but are we listening back there in the UK? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and and because of the national curricular change back in already twenty years ago. Okay. Uh, for all piano teachers, classical piano teach, te teaching in the curricula, uh, improvisation and playing uh, accompaniments from chord symbol was included already there. So it, it means that the piano teachers, uh, if, even if they are classically trained, they, they should be available, um, able to do this mm. already. Mm. So basically the basis of this thing is done quite well now at, okay. at the date. Okay. Um, but uh, in, that, in addition to that, if uh, I, I wanted to study more than what was the academy music education uh, offering at that time, I studied more pop and jazz, I played in a rock band, I played in a theatre, I was accompanying actors, and so on and so on. Mm -hmm. So re to really get a good overview of all the different um, styles and um, ways of playing piano. Okay, okay. Yeah. fascinating. And you clearly have a curriculum for piano pedagogy. You yeah. have it that all the teachers follow. Yeah, yeah, basically there is. And uh, now there has been new changes, which is uh, giving a lot of loose now. So there have been different different uh, curriculars now around the um, uh, um, country. But I think the basis is more or less the same. There's this um, uh, repertoire, playing good technique, improvisation, composing, find your own voice in the piano playing also for the students. Fantastic. I think I need to have a look at this. <laughs> so yeah. a huge thank you to Jervik for, for, is that right? Jürgi, 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 yes. Jürgi, Jürgi, um, for, for taking the time to, to talk to me. Thank Fascinating. You. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you.